Hi, this is Andy, and welcome to another UPatch Design tutorial. This time, all about the Edit Pixels page, where you get to fine tune your design by making small changes to individual pixels in your image. Notice the pink question marks. You can hover your cursor over these and get lots of useful information about the page and some of its features. There are many different reasons to edit the pixels in your design. Sometimes, when New Patch reduces the number of colours in the pixelation process, small but important colour features are lost. You can use the Edit Pixels page to restore these colour details. In my bunny image, you'll notice that he no longer has a pinkness in his ear and in his nose. And I can use the Edit Pixels page to bring back the pink. The first thing I need to do is add pink to my colour palette. I click on Add New Colour, make sure I'm on the Pinks and Purples colour palette, and select the pink that I want to bring in. Now you'll see that I have a pink colour in my palette. I make sure that it's selected and then I move my cursor over the image and my cursor is now a pink pen that I can use to click on individual pixels or I can click and hold my cursor down transforming my pen into a fluid paint type function. You can see that my pixel edits all have a dot in them to show where my edits are on my image. If I don't want to use this feature, I can click on Show Pixel Edits to uncheck the box and the dots will disappear. I can just as easily restore this function with another mouse click. If I make a mistake or want to remove any of my pixel edits, I can select the Eraser button and now my cursor can erase any of my pixel edits, either with a single click or a click and hold to erase edits with a fluid paint type function. You'll notice that the eraser doesn't erase any of the original colours from my image. It only erases these new pixel edits. So you don't have to worry about erasing the original design when you use the eraser tool. Another way of erasing edits is with the erase all button, where all pixel edits made will be erased. Click the button, confirm that you want to erase all your edits, and they're gone. You'll notice that I'm now working on a completely recolored bunny rabbit. Sometimes the pixel colors end up in funny places, like this pool colored pixel in my bunny's neck. I can use pixel edits to change that pixel so it blends in with the surrounding pixels by clicking on my preferred color, in this case orchid, and clicking on the pixel that I want to change. Another reason to use pixel edits is to simplify the final quilt pattern. These little orphan pixels make for a much more complex quilt pattern, so I find it's useful to help them blend in with their surrounds to simplify the pattern. Simply select the colour of the surrounding pixels and then click on your orphan pixels to help them blend in. You won't always want to do this as sometimes an orphan pixel adds significantly to the quilt design, just like it did with Marilyn's beauty spot. Now that you've pixelated, recolored, and edited your image, all that's left to do is click Finish and Order to get your personalized, one of a kind quilt pattern. We can't wait to see your finished U Patch quilt patterns. See you again soon. Bye!